Let's open our Bibles to the book of to the book of Psalm, to the readings of the book of Psalm 145, 146, and 147. One, Psalm 145 to 147. Trust in Yahweh, His mercies and care. Trust in Yahweh, His mercies and care. Psalm 145. Psalm 145 verses 1 to 9 David extols the power, goodness, and mercy of Yahweh. Those who, under troubles and temptations, abound in fervent prayer, will in due season abound in grateful praise, which is the true language of holy joy. Especially, we should speak of Yahweh's wondrous work of redemption while we declare His goodness. For no deliverance, no deliverance of the Israelite, nor, nor the punishment of sinners, so clearly proclaims the justice of Yahweh as, as the cross of Christ. As the cross of Christ exhibits it to the enlightened mind, it may truly, it, it may be truly said of our Lord Yeshua the Messiah that His words are words of goodness and grace. His works are works works of goodness and grace. He is full of compassion compassion it's very important for the love of creation he is full of compassion we too we should be full of compassion hence he came into the world to save sinners when on earth he showed his compassion both to the bodies and souls of people by healing the one and making making wise the other. He is not, he is of great mercy too, a merciful high priest he is, through whom Yahweh is merciful to sinners. Psalm 145 verses 10 to 21. The glory of God's kingdom and his care of those who love him verses 8 to 16 Yahweh is gracious compassionate slow to anger and rich in mercy those are the characters of a saint and remember all this Christianity you are in uh, looking for salvation it's about you being a saint as God is saint. He said if in Leviticus 20 verse 26 and many other verses repeating the same thing. Be saint, be holy, be holy because I am holy. His goodness and compassion are evident from everything he has created. People who are identify, who identify and appreciate the work of God will not only praise Him for His work, but also tell our people. Why? Why praise it? Because He also says, our mission is to glorify Him. Our mission is to glorify Him. Yahweh's kingdom is enduring and everlasting. People in need will especially be glad for the gifts of God. He is loving. This word which has been so long been misinterpreted. Love of God is first compassion, then service, and then what we call charity, which is which is one of the the, the, the things to do in serving, in serving. So love, the love that God is, the love 
that Yahshua Christ says that we should have his compassion and service. He is loving. He honors his pro promises. That means he's faithful to his promises. He uplifts the fallen. This is the work of the shepherd who always is there to take care of his sheep. He provides food, the role of the shepherd, and he is a source and then can satisfy all desires. Shepherd mission, Yahweh Rahi. Verses 17 to 21. David concludes this, this sum uh, with his final expression of praise to glorify, to, to uh, praise to Yahweh. Praise is to glorify Yahweh, inviting every living thing to join him. Those who call on Yahweh will discover that he is near. Those who love Yahweh will be protected, but those who reject him to continue to live in wickedness will eventually be destroyed. All Yahweh's works show forth his praises. He satisfies the desires of every living thing, except the unreasonable, unreasonable children of men, who are satisfied with nothing. He does good to all the children of men. He, his own people, in a, he does in a special manner. Many children of God who have been ready to fall into sin, to fall into despair, have tested his goodness in preventing their fall or recovering them speedily by his graces and comforts. And with respect to all that are heavy laden under the burden of sin, if they come to Yahshua by faith, he will ease them and he will, he will raise them. Yahweh is very ready to hear and answer the prayers of his people. He is present everywhere, but in a special way, he is near to them, his people. Once again, because this, uh, don't, I would not go very deeper in this, but people always say all the time, uh, the Holy Spirit is with me, and so on. Is yes, He is present everywhere, and he, could, he would answer your, your prayers and show you that. But in a special way, He is present in His people, the true Christians. The, the true, the true, the true, uh, the true disciples of Christ. So he is, he, how it is, he, in a special way I said he is near to them as he is not to others. He is in their hearts and dwells, not just like with the others that he is everywhere, but he dwells there in their heart by, by because of their faith and they and they also dwell in him he is near to those who call upon him to help them in all times of need he will be near to them that they may have what they ask and find what they seek if they call upon him in truth and sincerity. Not like uh, some, uh, some people who say, only way some preachers tell them that, come here, say this and that, from today you are saved. And therefore, uh, very often they would not call upon him, upon God. And uh, some preachers, the prosperity gospel preachers are there, say, even, they, uh, they even told, tell people that they are gods. And they don't even need to call upon, upon God. This some doesn't say so. 
the experience of David in this psalm is different. You need to call God for him to be to be to be answering you. It's not otherwise that you would say that I'm a God. I don't need to call him. This that is heresy to believe those kind of things. That is Satanism. If you know what happened in Genesis 3 verses 1 to 5. And having taught men to love his name and holy ways, he will come from the destruction of the wicked. May we then love Yahweh's name and walk in his ways, while we desire that all flesh should bless his holy name forever and ever. Psalm 146. Psalm 146 verses 1 to 4. Why we should not trust in men? Verses 1 to 2. When people need help, they have a choice. They can depend on other people or they can turn to Yahweh. This psalm offers praises to Yahweh because he is always dependable. Psalm one, Psalms 146 to 150, the last one, focus on praising Yahweh. Each of these songs, 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 because they are songs uh, that close at the, the Psalter, as it is called, the, the book of the Psalms, both begin and end with the phrase, Praise you, Yah. Praise ye, Yah. And that is, in Hebrew, is Alleluia. Alleluia. Verses 3 to 4. Putting one's trust in people eventually leads to disappointment. All people, even those with power and influence, are mortals. <laughs> Their ability to help is limited in both time and degree. Situations will arise where their power is insufficient and their influence ends with death. Uh, if it is our delight to praise Yahweh while we live, we shall certainly praise Him to all eternity. With these glorious prospects before, before us, how low do worldly pursuits seem? There is a Son of Man, a Son of Man in whom there is help, and even Him who is also the Son of God, who will not fail those that trust in him. But all other sons of men are like the man from whom they sprung, who being in honor did not abide. Ha, Yahweh, Yahweh has given the earth to the children of men, but there is great striving about it. Yet, Yet after a while, no part of the earth will be their own except the one in which their dead bodies are laid. And when man returns to his earth, in that very day all his plans and designs and designs vanish and are gone. When what then comes of what then comes of of expectations anticipated on him? Vanity. Verses one forty six, verses five to ten. Why we should trust in Yahweh? Yahweh is the Creator of all things, and He remains faithful. Faithful, important on Him. The people who need help. Most can always count on him. The oppressed, the hungry, the prisoners, the blind, those who are bowed down, the aliens, the fatherless, the widows. Yahweh's love and help extends to all who are righteous. Those who are wicked, however, will find themselves frustrated. Yahweh should be praised regularly because he reign, his reign, his reign lasts forever. The psalmist encourages us to put confidence in Yahweh 
we must hope in the providence of Yahweh for all we need as to this life and in the grace of God for what is to come. The word of God of the, the word of God, the God of heaven becomes becomes a man, uh, became man. The word of God, God of heaven became a man that uh, he might become our salvation. So he died on the cross for our sins and was laid in the grave. Yet his thoughts of love, love as I define it, love to us did not perish. He rose again to fulfill them. When on earth his miracles were examples of what he is still doing every day. He grants deliverance to captives, the, to captives bound in, in chains of sin and Satan. He opens the eyes of the understanding. He, he feeds with the bread of life those who hunger for salvation. And he is the constant friend of the poor in spirit, the helpless. With him, poor sinners that are as fatherless find mercy in and his kingdom shall continue forever then let sinners flee to to Yahshua Christ and believers rejoice in him and as Yahweh shall reign forever let us stir up each other to praise his holy name Psalm 147 Psalm 147 verses 1 to 11. The people of God are exhorted to praise Him for His mercies and care. Verses 1 to 3. This sum of praise is in regard to Yahweh's faithfulness to Israel after their exile. Immediately after the opening call of praise, the psalmist begins to recount the events after the people's release, the release from captivity. He recalls the gathering of the exiles and the building, actually the rebuilding of Jerusalem. The people were broken hearted to see what had been done to the city and how much repair needed to be done. But Yahweh was there to heal their wounded spirits. Verses 4 to 9. The psalmist reminds everyone that the same God who helped him is the one who had created, numbered, and named the stars. The rain he provides supplies life-supporting water for both domestic and wild animals. His understanding and his power are unlimited and while his power will be used to subdue the wicked it will always provide support to the humble praising Yahweh is a work that is its own wages it's a work that is its own wages <sighs> praising Yahweh is not for nothing it is comedy and it means beautiful it, it makes us become reasonable creatures, much more people in covenant with Yahweh. He gathers outcast sinners by His grace uh, and will bring them into His holy habitation. To those whom Yahweh heals with the consolation of His Holy Spirit, He speaks peace, assures them their sins are pardoned. And for this, let others praise him also. Man's knowledge is soon ended, but God's knowledge is a depth, is a depth, is a depth that can never be fathomed. And while he tells the number of the stars, he condescends to hear the broken-hearted sinner. While he feeds the young ravens in the wilds, he will not leave his praying people destitute. Clouds look dull. Clouds look dull and melancholy. Yet 
Without them, we could have no rain. Therefore, no fruit. Thus, afflictions look black and unpleasant. But from clouds of afflictions come showers that make the soul to yield the peaceable fruits of righteousness. The psalmist does not delight uh, in things sinners trust and glory uh, in, but a serious and suitable regard to Yahweh is in his sight of very great, of very great price. We are not to be to, to, to be in doubt between hope and fear, but to act under the gracious influence of hope and fear united. Don't have the wrong fear, the fear of man. Uh, 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 say man has married that the file that you were, the saving file that who, who you were to file at the last minute, now he has failed you and you will be having the negative uh, uh, fear, a uh, hope and fear. You have, you have to have the gracious influences of God for hope and fear united. Fear should be fear of God, not fear of man and Satan and his agents. Psalm 147 verses 12 to 20 for the salvation and prosperity of the church. The church, like Jerusalem of old, built up and preserved by the wisdom, power, and goodness of Yahweh, is exhorted to praise Him for all the benefits and blessings vouchsafed vows saved for, for her. And these are represented by His favors in the course of nature. The, the, thawing, the thawing word may represent the gospel of Christ and the thawing wind the spirit of Christ for the spirit is compared to the wind in John 3 verse 8. Calvary, converting, converting I mean converting, converting grace softens the heart that was heart frozen and melts it into tears of repentance and makes good, good reflections to flow which before were chilled and stopped. That's what this part of the scripture means. The, the change which the thou makes in every evidence it is it is very it's very I mean not every evident is very evident the change is makes is makes yet how is it done to one can say such is the change the change done in the conversion of a soul when Yahweh's word and spirit are sent to melt it and restore it to its itself know this and the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Let us pray. Let us take these prayer points. Let us pray each one once. I will exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah, I praise you, Father Yahweh. Great is Yahweh and most worthy of praise. His greatness, greatness no one can fathom. In the name of Yeshua, one generation commands your work to another. Father Yahweh, they tell of your mighty acts. In the name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we praise you, Father. They speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty. And I will meditate on your wonderful works. In the name of Yeshua, the Messiah, I pray. They tell of the power of your awesome works and I will proclaim your great deeds in the name of Yeshua the Messiah pray. They celebrate your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness in the name of Yeshua the Messiah we praise you Father Yahweh. Yahweh is gracious and compassionate 
slow to anger and rich in love in the name of Yeshua the Messiah all your works praise you Lord Yahweh your faithful people extol you in the name of Yeshua the Messiah we praise you Father Yahweh they tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might so that all people may know of your mighty acts in the name of Yeshua they speak they speak of your goodness so that they speak of your goodness so that people may know the glorious splendor of your kingdom in the name of Yeshua your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures through all generation in the name of Yeshua the Messiah we praise you Lord Yahweh is trustworthy in all he promises and faithful in all he does in the name of Yeshua the Messiah we praise you Father Yahweh upholds all who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down in the name of Yeshua the Messiah we praise you Father the eyes of all look to you Lord Yahweh and you give them their food at the proper time in the name of Yeshua the Messiah we praise you Yahweh you open you open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing in the name of Yeshua the Messiah we praise you Lord Yahweh is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does in the name of Yeshua the Messiah we praise you Lord Yahweh is near to all